Hi there, I'm Sable Aradia for Confessions of a Geek Queen, which you can find at geekqueenblog.wordpress.com. And I thought that I would do a video journal of my experience with the Okanagan Regional Library's Summer Reading Club. Now, I really like the idea they've got going on with this. Um, this is this bingo card has different uh, criteria for different books. You cross out the book criteria when you've covered it and you can use up to three of these boxes for a single book. So if it meets three up to three of the different criteria, you can count them for all three. And then when you're done, each of the rows that you fill in counts as an entry into their grand prize draw, which is a few prizes of $50 gift certificates to local bookstores. Now I read a lot, so this would help me out. So I figured, why not? Up to a maximum of 12 entries because that is how many times you can make rows, all the horizontal and vertical rows plus the two diagonals. Now I'm overlapping this with reading challenges that I'm doing at the worldswithoutend.com website on science fiction and fantasy, which I will put a link to in the video description. Now I'll just list the challenges that I'm doing because some of them may cross over and I'll mention them later and so if you want to follow along you will know what I'm up to. So I'm doing the uh, 12 Awards 12 Months Challenge where you read 12 novels that have been nominated for or have won one of the many science fiction awards that are offered. I'm doing the Women of Genre Fiction Challenge where you read several novels by women authors. I'm doing the LGBTQ Speculative Fiction Challenge and the criteria for that one is that it has to deal with LGBTQ themes as a major plot point. It has to uh, have an LGBTQ major character or it has to be written by an LGBTQ author. And that is amazingly hard. You would be surprised at how difficult it is to find good books that meet these criteria. I'm also doing the Space Opera Challenge because I just like space opera and I want an excuse to read it. And I'm also doing three challenges that I created. The uh, SF Masterworks, Science Fiction Masterworks Reading Challenge where we're reading the books that are on a list of... Uh, there's an imprint called SF Masterworks where they're reprinting a bunch of books that are difficult to find that are classics of science fiction. And so I thought that would be a good way to become more familiar with the classics of the field. I also created a book club on Goodreads, which I will also put the link to if you want to follow along with that. And we are discussing the, these classics one per month in the order of publication. So there's that. And the other two challenges are the Apocalypse Now reading challenge, which must be about an apocalypse or a post-apocalypse as the major plot point. And then uh, the last one is the High Fantasy challenge, where you read high fantasy or heroic or mythic fantasy. And I created that just for an excuse to read Song of Ice and Fire, to be honest with you. So there you go. So where they overlap, I will be doing this. Um, the last day of this challenge is September 9th, and you can hand it in to the library in a couple different ways, or you can take a picture of it and email it to them, which I will likely be doing because on that time of the year, I will be in Quebec. So I'm glad that they created that option. So let's have a look at the criteria, shall we? Okay, so the categories are published this year about a place you want to visit. You think that Mars counts as a place I want to visit? Set in Asia? Recommended by a friend? Shouldn't have a problem with that. Lots of people recommend stuff to me. I work in a bookstore. It's convenient. Um, has a First Nations protagonist. I like that. That's cool. About a journey. Hmm. Let's think. Space opera. Traveling to the other side of the galaxy. That counts, right? Just saying. A graphic novel. 
well, maybe I'll get a recommendation from my stepdaughters. They, that's anime is totally their thing. By a Canadian author. Well, okay, I've been reading the Mad Adam series by Margaret Atwood. A book with a one-word title. Hmm, gonna have to think about that one. Set in a place you have visited. Well, I'm actually reasonably well-traveled in our country, so that could be cool. Um, I don't know what's going to come up. Mo I've been to most of the major Canadian cities between here and Montreal. And I've been to a couple places in Washington State and Idaho. And I've been to Maine and to Salem, Massachusetts. So we'll have to see about that. Huh, by an Australian author. Well, that one's, I'm going to have to look for that because I don't really know any Australian authors. Um, I know there's an Australian Science Fiction Award. I'll have to check that out. Okay, set in Africa. Cool. I've been looking for an excuse to continue to read the Tarzan series, which I had never yet done. So that's a you know good reason to do that. Historical fiction. I like historical fiction. When I'm not reading science fiction and fantasy, I tend to read a lot of historical fiction. Patrick O'Brien, C.S. Forrester, you know, awesome action adventure stuff. I'm, I'm into that. Set in the Okanagan or by an Okanagan author? Hmm. Well, I have been looking for an excuse to read Jack White. Cool. In translation. That should be fun. There's a particular novel of dystopian uh, sci-fi called We that's by a Russian author that I've been meaning to read. Has a child as a protagonist. Okay. Takes place on a boat. Oh, now so there's another excuse to read Patrick O'Brien. Cool. By a female author. Part of a series. Hmm, so definitely putting Patrick O'Brien on the list. Right, got it. A funny book. Cool. I, I don't actually read a lot of humor, so that's great. A mystery. Oh, well, you know, I don't think I've read a mystery since I was a teenager, so that should be fun. Set in the summer. I'm going to have to think about that one. I don't really know... You know, I suppose, I mean, I don't want to reread anything. I suppose I could reread The Summer Queen. Features an animal. Again, I'm going to have to work at that one unless I want to do a reread. And nonfiction. That's actually not difficult for me. I read a lot of nonfiction, uh, pagan and witchcraft related stuff because I am a practicing Wiccan and I write about it and I'm always reading more material in that area so cool so what I've decided to start with is this one this is all the birds in the sky by Charlie Jane Anders and I requested this because this actually fits three of the reading challenges that I am doing on worlds without end it fits the LGBTQ challenge it fits the apocalypse now challenge and it fits the women of genre fiction challenge this will also fit two of the spaces on my bingo card. It will fit Has a Child as a Protagonist and By a Female Author. So I will keep you posted on my progress. I review every book that I read for the different reading challenges that I'm doing. So when I'm finished reading this book, I will describe what I thought of it briefly here on a video and also post a link to the review that I do for it and I will tell you when I start the new one. Today's date as of 15 minutes ago is July 3rd and we'll see if I make it to the end. If you want to follow my progress follow me here on my YouTube channel or on my blog. Wish me luck. Bye!